I wanted to follow in my dad's footsteps. Uh, he was career army, but uh, we lost him in Korea during the war. And um, being the sole surviving son, I had to sign off on a waiver in order to enlist into the army. When I first enlisted during the Vietnam War, uh, of course, as we know, it wasn't a popular time, but uh, I wasn't concerned about that. Family, friends tried to talk me out of it, but it was my destiny to enlist. It's amazing how the Army sent me to Korea, not Vietnam. But here, I, I find it to be meant to be because I lost my dad there. 20 years later, I'm in the same country. So I felt very honored to be there. Those soldiers who I flew over with 12 months ago, we're all coming back home together. You know, we get to talking, hey, it's good to see you, you know, give a hug, a pat on the back. And so I'm looking around in the aircraft and what happened to so-and-so? So, no, they didn't make it. So there was a pause. Sorry. Uh, there was a pause there. So we just, uh, we thought about this. April of uh, 1974, we uh, landed in San Francisco International Airport. A young captain came on an aircraft and he told us that there were uh, protesters outside the gate. He wanted us to walk out calmly and don't react to it. So there was military policemen, army military policemen holding up rain ponchos so that we wouldn't get spit on. And that was my welcome home. So, you being here today makes up for that. Thirty-year military veteran, different forces, Army and Navy, recruiter for 17 years with over 200 recruits. Uh, I mean, some people don't even want to do that job, and he took it as the most pride in his life to get other people to serve for this country. His father was in the war and passed in the war, unfortunately, and he wanted to do it. He wanted to serve for our country, too. He actually had his mother sign off on the fact that he was going to go do it. I think it's one of the coolest things. Um, I've known the man for over five years now, and I couldn't be more proud than to do this for him. I watched John Wayne with the Fighting Seabees. And at the end of that movie, I said, man, I want to be a Seabee. I got my honorable discharge together. I was at the recruiter's office before he was, Monday morning. And I presented everything. I told him what I wanted to do. He says, well, you know what? There's a waiting list about that long. I says, I'll tell you what, Chief. If I don't get in the Seabees, I'm going next door and I'm going with the Army engineers. The next morning, hey, I got a slot for you. Yeah, I spent four years in the Navy. I loved every day of it. I deployed to Iraq back in 2004. And I was a military policeman, performed convoy security. And yes, we did see a lot of combat there, a lot of firefights there. He's an inspiration to, to anyone that's, that's served, because uh, everyone knows that it's not easy. It's tough on his family. Sonia, uh, his, his wife, has made a huge sacrifice. The fact that she's, uh, she's happy and supports him, it's a great, great partnership that they have. I'm proud of my husband, you know. That's the whole life we've ever had together was that I want him to be happy. Um, it'll make me cry, but I was listening to Brandon and touch me. It made me feel good and emotional because it was nice to see somebody appreciate it, to honor my husband and the service that he did. Now, when I rotated from Iraq back in 05, the Army assigned me to West Point, New York, as a career counselor. My purpose in life up there was to extend those soldiers, their enlistments. That was the pinnacle of my, of my career. Oh, my family loved it. I loved it. I didn't want to leave. I really didn't. That's how great it was. I, ha I never had a bad day up there. Before I retired, I submitted a packet to Fort Knox, Kentucky, to the Cadet Command to become a instructor for the Army JOTC program. And it was approved. I began my career uh, down in Philadelphia, the Military Academy of Philly. Then I transferred to Gettysburg High School. 
and I finished out there. I retired there from uh, 2017. That's what I wanted to do with my life. Truck driving, cabinet making, carpentry. It was okay, but it wasn't really my niche. The military was my niche. It's in the blood. All of my, my dad's brothers served in the Army, except for Uncle Jerry, he served in the Air Force. I love my country, and I'll do it in a half a heartbeat. It was just a great trail. It really was. It was a great life. And there's days I miss it. I really, really miss it. But it's time for me to move on and let somebody else take my slot so that they could train soldiers. I sold him windows and doors about five years ago when I was first in the company as a sales guy. I spent a lot of hours with him in the original sale years ago. He's a, like a magnetic human being. He's gonna draw you in and you're gonna learn a lot. I still don't think to this day, even when this thing's gonna be done, that he'll believe me that this is pro bono from us to him as a thank you. When I was informed of this, I was a little skeptical. I said, no, this is too good to be true, but a free shower. All right, I'm gonna think about this, you know. And, and then he came back in the store again where I work, and he says, look, I got a plan, and this is this, that, and the other thing. And my heart, I'm telling you, it, it just filled up. And when he left, you don't know this, tears started rolling down my cheeks, I couldn't help it. But this is, this is something greater than I ever expected. To do something like this for someone so distinguished and just giving as Teddy Lloyd, uh, it, it means a lot to us. He would have been awesome to, to work under if he was a sergeant uh, of mine, just because uh, I, I can tell he cares so much about giving back. He cares about his family, about America, and uh, you know, Veterans Day, it's, 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 a, it's a day for him, uh, and it's, it's a pleasure of mine to, to be here just to help him out. They had a bathtub still. It just it wasn't gonna work out as age progressed. So we were able to take that cast iron bathtub out and put in a low threshold pan and redo all their plumbing for them, make sure it's all good. Uh, Sonia picked out a beautiful marble wall that she really loves. She picked out her oil rub bronze fixtures and we put a seat in there. That was a big thing. I have a torn ACL and then this one was replaced. And so when you're injured like that and bending your knees, reaching over that, it's like, no, this hurts. Now to just like one little step, I could do that, you know, without a problem, but yeah, that'll be really nice, not having to step over a tub. This project is gonna make things safer for them. Not only is it is it gonna be beautiful, it's gonna be easier for them to step into. Uh, we've got a low threshold walk-in shower as opposed to, uh, I think, a 15-inch tub. The grab bars are much sturdier, screwed into the, to the wall. Any company can can say things, uh, but here we are helping do things that they need going forward. It means a lot to walk the walk because uh, uh, that's that's what we have in our lives. You know, we have we have our word, we have our bond, and West Shore cares. Going back to 1974, so have all of this. It's it's a miracle. It really is, and I love you guys. You guys are the best. You got the best product out there in the market. This is what we're about. This is who the company is deep down, um, and we show it every single day. And instances like this really show it to everybody. We know who we are, and everyone should know this is what we stand for. Right, oh my gosh! Look at this. Wow, this is awesome. Thank you so much. We appreciate you very much. You got your back, right? Thank you. Thank you so much. What a gift. I can't thank you enough. 
don't have to worry about that. I'm really, 